All right, we are starting to build our burner for our rocket burner, rocket stove. Now I did pick up three items, okay? Picked up a pipe nipple with a ball valve, and this is for my supplementary air. I don't know if I'll need it, but I'm gonna install it just in case. I could always leave it valved off. Now I picked up a two and a half inch exhaust pipe and a three inch stainless steel exhaust tip. Now this is gonna be my case for my burner and this is going to be where my pellets burn, okay? My tray. But first I need some sheet metal. So rather than cut up one of my good sheets, These are free. <laughs> and I figure I ought to be able to get about 12 by 30 straight piece of metal out of it. Alright, well let me cut this up and we'll get back. That didn't take but a minute. Now I'll hammer that out. Looks like I'm gonna get about nine by thirty. And that's fine too. I don't that's more than I need. Alright, we got these cut the length. Now what I'm gonna do is flip them over and draw the patterns on them. Because two of these are gonna be inset panels and they're all gonna have tabs on them. So let me get that done. Now once you get your pattern in can use your duck bills on there to bend your right angles on. Now, once you got your right angles on there, it's flat. Okay? You don't have to worry about it anymore. I mean, it's strong. Now, this one's only got a single bend on each side, and it doesn't have to be sealed in because this is inside and it's just kind of to hold things in place. But I'm going to do these other ones, and I'll show you those when they're done.
All right, I've been running this and test firing it. And I went through several types of trays, as you can see. But the one that I detailed how to make seems to be working the best. The little flurries you see across the front of the screen are bugs because I got this porch open right now. But looking inside, okay, that's what you see. All right. Now, up top, my feed, I've made a cap to go on top. And this is just my little auger for if you get any clinkers down in there, it starts to bind up. Okay, we are approaching the 600 degree mark. Now, I will tell you what made a difference in my heat and airflow was taking one of the 90 degrees out and putting in 245s. So I've got 345s and 290s. I wish I could get rid of the other 290s, but it's kind of hard. But I think I can live with 600 degrees. That's kind of... Oh. Let's see. Where are we at there? Okay, there we go. That's focusing in. Uh, 585. Let's see what that is in Celsius. Okay, we're well over 300 Celsius. It varies a little there, depending on where I got it. But, over 300 Celsius. But, I had to take out, I took out my 90 here and put in two 45s. Okay, and there's my other 45. But I got a 90 right outside the door and a 90 right down here. Hey, right, well, that's for the build right there. Hope you've enjoyed this. And we'll see how long this video is. And if it's not too long, I'll put all the dimensions on there. If not, I'll do a complete video just of all the dimensions and build. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe.